Hey there! Today, we're celebrating a monumental milestone in the world of open source software. After more than 22 years in development, FreeCAD 1.0 is finally here. This free open source CAD software has been a favorite among 3D printing enthusiasts, engineering students, and professionals for years. Now, with its first official stable release, it's ready to challenge industry giants like Autodesk Fusion 360, SolidWorks, and AutoCAD. So, why did it take so long to reach version 1.0? The FreeCAD team had clear goals in mind before they were willing to mark this milestone. They wanted to solve two major challenges. Fixing the toponyming problem, a tricky issue that affects how CAD software handles changes to complex models, and implementing a built-in assembly module to make FreeCAD more competitive with proprietary software. With these hurdles now cleared, FreeCAD 1.0 is ready to shine. This release isn't just about technical improvements. It also comes with some fantastic user interface upgrades. You'll notice new rotational center indicators, an on-model task panel, and combo view modes that make navigation easier. Plus, FreeCAD now supports both dark and light themes for a more modern look. To top it off, the software features a sleek new logo, designed by its vibrant community, giving this milestone release a fresh and polished vibe. The official FreeCAD 1.0 release trailer showcases its impressive capabilities, from precision engineering to creative 3D modeling. Whether you're designing for professional use or personal projects, FreeCAD has all the tools you need. And don't worry if you're new to CAD software. There are plenty of resources available, including manuals, tutorials, and detailed release notes to guide you. If you're excited to give FreeCAD 1.0 a try, it's available for Linux, macOS, and Windows. On Linux, you can download it as a one-click app image, a snap package, or through Flathub. You can even install older versions with sudo apt install FreeCAD. No matter which platform you use, FreeCAD makes it easy to get started. This release is more than just software. It's a testament to what open source communities can achieve. Like Blender, Krita, and LibreOffice, FreeCAD proves that passion and collaboration can create tools that rival the biggest names in the industry. The journey doesn't end here, though. Version 1.0 is just a milestone, and the FreeCAD team is already looking ahead to future improvements. So, what do you think about FreeCAD 1.0? Have you used it before, or are you planning to dive in now? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more open source updates. This is a great time to celebrate the power of community-driven software, and I can't wait to see what's next for FreeCAD.